Assalamu alaikum grade 6 today is our second lecture and it's about hardware and software so what is hardware and software components a computer system consists of two major elements hardware and software computer hardware is the collection of all the parts you can physically touch computer software on the hand is not something you can touch software is a set of instructions for a computer to perform specific operations you need both hardware and software for a computer system to work. So now let us learn about some input and output devices that are used mainly for commercial purposes. So input devices. Input devices accept input from the user and convert it into a form that computer can understand. Examples are barcode reader, magnetic ink corrector reader, optical corrector reader and card reader. So we'll discuss each of them in the coming slides. So on first we have barcode reader. A barcode reader is a unique combination of vertical bars that represents production information such as prices, place, manufacturing etc. The cashier uses a barcode reader to scan the barcode on each purchased item which gets input into the computer. The computer uses the barcode to identify the product. You might have noticed that each product that you buy it might be any food item or it might be any crockery item you might have noticed a barcode on its back. So basically the barcode reader scans that code and get the input into the computer. So on, sec on second we have magnetic ink corrector reader. Magnetic ink corrector recognition is a corrector recognition system that uses special ink and correctors. When a document that contains this ink need to be read, it passes through a machine which magnetizes the ink and then translate the magnetic information into characters. MICR technology is used by banks. Numbers and characters found on the bottom of checks usually containing the check number, sort number and account number are printed using magnetic ink. So basically magnetic ink is used on checks. You can see here at the bottom of the check there is a sort number, check number and account number. On third we have optical corrector reader. An optical corrector reader is a device that inputs normal printed or handwritten text into a computer. This process first produces a digital image of the text. Corrector recognition software is then used to convert this image into character code that can be understood, stored and processed by a computer. This technique is called OCR. You can see some examples. So basically a photocopier machine or a scanner also act as an OCR. On third on sorry on fourth we have optical mark reader. An OMR is a device capable of reading printed forms used for objective type exams with boxes or circle that can be filled with a dark pencil or ink. When a light beam is passed through such a form the marked areas reflect less light than the unmarked ones. It is commonly used for checking answer sheets of exams that have multiple choice questions. So basically OMR machine is used for checking the uh, objective type answer sheet. So basically when it is passed through a machine, so the area that you have marked reflects less than the area that is unmarked. On fifth we have card reader. Card reader are used for reading information stored on cards such as magnetic strip cards and smart cards. Magnetic strip card information in the form of numbers and character is magnetically stored on a magnetic strip that you can see here the black line on the card in examples. When the card is swiped through a magnetic card reader it reads the information quickly and accurately. So basically on magnetic strip card there is a black strip this is called a magnetic strip so basically your data is stored into these magnetic strip and whenever you swipe your card through magnetic card reader it collects the information it can uh, they are generally used in uh, your debit cards and ATM cards <laughs> then on uh, another example is smart card smart cards they look like magnetic strip card but contain a small chip instead of magnetic strip most of the credit and debit card issued by bank nowadays have both chip and magnetic strip 
they store more data than magnetic strip cards so basically nowadays you will find both magnetic strip card and chip on your ATM or debit or credit cards now output devices output devices convey information from the computer to the user we'll discuss output devices such as LCD projector bright printer and plotter here so first of all LCD projector a LCD projector shows the output from a computer on a large screen. It is commonly used for displaying presentations during meeting and conference. Then on second we have Braille printer. A Braille printer is or embosser produces Braille printouts, pattern of raised dots of computer files. It works with software that translates that text to Braille. Then on third we have a plotter. A plotter is a printing device that is used for creating high quality graphics, charts, graph tables and diagrams. They are commonly used in CAD and CAM for printing plans for houses, car parts and machinery etc. So, so these are some examples of printers. On the left side you see is a bright or embossed printer. On the right side is a plotter. So basically a plotter is used for commercial purposes like designing uh, maps for your houses, car parts or any kind of huge machinery. So this was all about today's lecture. We will discuss software component in the coming video. Thank you.